So we said indecent assault. Person is said to be guilty of indecent assault when he assaults a lady knowing that it will outrage her modesty and is punishable under section 354 PPC. Okay, so it is difficult to define why, what constitutes this outraging female modesty due to different traditions of different cultures and religious values. Okay, so, so this, uh, this uh, is a different here and this is a different in Europe because the social values, the morals, the ethical values and the religious values which are in our country are entirely different from the Europe or the country. Next slide please. Obviously, this includes kissing of any part of the female body, pressing the breast of private parts, touching private parts, or then about including thigh, etc. Exposing her gentle parts and so on and so forth. The medical practitioner has to be very careful while examining a female patient. They told you yesterday that either you have a female attendant of the female patient or must have a nursing staff, female nurse with you. Next slide, sir. <clears throat> Now, what happens after the rape? So there can be so accidents, many accidents. The, the shock can be due to fright, mental, emotional imbalance, hemorrhage can be there and hemorrhage can be excessive. So much so that the female can go into shock. Suffocation by covering the mouth and nostrils with a hand, by gagging the mouth with a piece of cloth. Murder. I told you while I was teaching you asphyxia, that throttling, is a hazard in the case of prostitute. So many a times, if the female is putting up more resistance, there is likelihood that during this scuffle, the, uh, the murder can take place. Of course, because of the severe psychic and mental strains, one can, can have convulsions, epileptic fits, personality derangements leading to insanity, septic infection. This is a very common complication which can take place after a couple of days. Exhaustion and collapse due to prolonged struggle are repeated it, of course, is another complication. Next slide, please. Now, we go to the different sexual provision, which is a behavior which is not routinely seen. Abnormal behavior, such so vocal cortex. Sign of Gomorrah, a biblical city. Under this setting is included another type of sexual offense in which mouth is used to place of anus or vagina. So, other than uh, uh, vagina and anus, for the sexual gratification, the mouth is used, and this is known as buccal uh, cortex. Fleshio, erumation, means oral stimulation by manipulation of pe penis by either male or female. Okay. Cunningingus, means oral stimulation of female genitalia. Next slide, sir. Sodomy, buggery. It's a any cortex between a man and a woman or a man and a man. The active agent is called sodomite and the passive agent is called ketamide. And when the passive, this process involves a child, young boy, this is known as pedestrian. It is an offense in Pakistan penal code and both the active and the passive partners are guilty and punishable under the law. Okay? Then, gerenotophilia, passive agent is adult. Pedestry, here the passive agent is a young boy. Sexual offense, Act of England, two consenting males over 21 years of age, if commit sodomy in privacy, it is not a crime. Very, very unfortunate. Okay? Next slide, sir. Now, the active agent of sodomy is known as sodomite, and the passive agent of sodomy is known as ketamite. Next slide, sir. Sexual perversions. Okay. So, all of these are doing of a sick mind. A normal person resort to the sexual gratification with the normal means when he is adult whatever the social values, the moral values, and the religion allows, he goes into wedlock, 
and enjoy the sexual gratification. But these are the sexual perversion which are seen and obviously to, to me, they are doing of a sick mind. So sadism, masochism, fetishism, exhibitionism, transvasitism, which is also known as eonism. Next slide, sir. Transsexualism, uranism, voyeurism, which is also known as scotophilia, peeping toms, fraturism, urolagnia, trollism, satyriasis, nymphomania, the person who indulges in such act is known as sexually perverted or deviated. And my conviction is all of these activities are doing of a sick mind. Next slide, sir. Sadism. What is sadism? This is sexual perversion in which sexual pleasure is obtained by inflicting pain or torturing the opposite partner. It is more common in males. That means the person who is involved, the active person, is a male. The term is derived from the name of a French man, Marquis de Sade, who wrote books on which characteristics and characters enjoyed being cruel were stated, and of course, his era was from 1836 to 1895. So in order to satisfy the sexual desire, the saddest bites, flogs, injures, or eaters the partner. And the extreme is that he may cause the murder. Such a murder is known as a lust murder. Okay, so after murder, the saddest may perform rape or on disease at this is called necrophilia. So what is necrophilia? Necrophilia is a sexual intercourse with a dead body. He may tear out the genitalia, the other organ, eat such flesh to satisfy the sexual desire. This is termed necrophilia. So what is necrophilia? He may tear out the genitalia, other organs, and eat such a flesh to satisfy the sexual desire. This is termed as a necrophagia. Next slide, sir. Now, this is masochism. What is masochism? This is reverse of sadism. So, what happens here? The term of this perversion obtains sexual gratification only using pain, similar from a woman. And here, he enjoys pleasure while the pain is inflicted on himself. This term is derived from the name of an Austrian novelist, Leopold Secker, Mesoch. And of course, he stayed from this, uh, he was in this era, who described the characteristics of masochists. They keep photos of naked women in laboratories, isolated rooms, and experience sexual asphyxia. Did they tell you traumatic asphyxia? Do you remember? So that is also a form of sexual perversion and may hang themselves partially. They experience sexual pleasure by putting on plastic bags, round head, really they give cuts to themselves or neck and get pleasure by this painful stimuli. Obviously, the crux of the matter is that they obtain a sexual gratification, sexual pleasure by inflicting pain on themselves. So this is masochism. Next slide, sir. Fetishism. Sexual gratification is associated with contact and sight of certain parts of female body or even clothing or other articles known as fetishes articles. These objects normally do not exercise sexual influence on normal individuals. The clothing, the handkerchiefs or even shoes, socks of a woman act as an object for sexual gratification and person may masturbate on them. They may lead the fetishes to steal such objects, all these women articles like the undergarments, the socks, the handkerchiefs, the shoes, they steal it from the covers of the female and of course uh, uh, later on they enjoy a sexual gratification. Next slide, sir. Exhibitionism. The term applies to the ex of men whose sexual desire consists principally of indecent exposure and exhibition of genitalia. You know, I think about five, ten years back, now they have stopped it and now they have made many uh, sort of uh, these uh, 
big uh, iron uh, uh, rods and the hurdles and the obstacles in the cricket match and the football match. But I remember a gentleman, I'm sorry, not a gentleman, absolutely naked and just crossing through the whole ground and the police following him or her. And even I have seen the female. So they are the people who find pleasure in exposing parts of their bodies. And of course, both of them are there. Women may expose themselves in public. So, and this is punishable under 294 of Pakistan Penal Code. Next slide, sir. Transfer citizens. This provision which sexual failure is obtained by wearing dress of opposite sex. Bra and stress, this is known as eonism. So transfer citizen is also known as eonism. Okay, and of course it is from a French, uh, the name of a French man, Yuska Namta, Ionta, so it's known as eonism. So they wear the undergarment. So I, I remember incidents here that uh, while I was a demonstrator at King Medical College, the class test was going on. And suddenly I heard a voice, sir, sir. So I thought, who is the female around me? There was no one. But later on, there was a boy who was asking something from the test. So I ignored that, but one of my class fellows said, you are the jamul, we can pay hostel miana. So once I went there, I saw that boy, beautiful dress in female clothes, wearing bangles, earrings, in high heel shoes and sari, and he just walked around in the hostel and went back to his room. Okay, so he was suffering from eonism. Next slide, sir. Transsexualism. Irresistible desire to be a member of opposite sex indulges in that role, acts as a female. But unlike transfer citizen, cross dressing does not provoke them. They do not get sexual gratification. They demand castration, removal of penis, and conversion from male to female. That means that they want to get their sex altogether changed. They don't want, they don't just limit themselves to the clothes, but they want that the whole morphological and anatomical structure should be changed. Next slide, sir. Uranism. Sexual gratification by fingering, falling, or licking of genitalia of the partner, fellatio, means oral stimulation or manipulation of penis by either male or female. Tenanglings means oral stimulation of female genitalia. Okay, next slide, sir. Voyeurism, scotophilia, peeping tom. These are the people who observe the genitalia of others or watch sexual intercourse become the condition of erotic excitement for their gratification. So many times they just have a sort of stare and just climb on, climb on that and just peep through, just peep through the windows or something like that. And once they see the other couple doing the intercourse, they feel sexual pleasure, okay? They're also known as peeping toms. Next slide, sir. Fraturism, compulsion to rub genitalia against another person, usually in the lips and crowds, more common males, but maybe of some females too. Next slide, sir. Undynism, urolagnia, coprophilia, in this reservation, there is sexual excitement by sight or order of pieces or you. Very, very unfortunate. Stop it. Next slide, sir. Troilism. In troilism, the pervert gets sexual gratification by inducing his wife to sexual intercourse with another person and observing the scene. Actually, it's extreme of scotophilia. So, troilism. Next slide, sir. Satyriasis. It is excessive sexual desire among males. The subjects are liable to commit sexual offenses or perversive acts. Next slide, sir. How many times do you have a note on that in your SEQs or one mark or two marks and so on and so forth? Nymphomania. It is excessive sexual desire among women. Some of them may become lesbians. So nymphomania is 
टॉक्सिकोलॉजी में पढ़ना करना कोकेन टोनिंग कोकेन पॉइजनिंग ओके सो द निम्फोमेनिया इज इन फीमेल हु आर एडिक्टेड टू कोकेन नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर जोफिलिया इट इन्वॉल्व Activity relating to sexual arousal, repetitively carrying out sexual activities with animals. Zoophilia, okay. Neratophilia, achievements of sex erotic aroused by listening to accounts of specific types of sexual activities. Okay, so they find sexual gratification and sexual pleasure by listening to specific types of sexual activities. Okay, next slide, sir. Pictophilia. achievements of sexual gratification erotic arousal by seeing sexually explicit pictures okay so hyperrestophilia derived from greek word hybrid hyperzine i to commit outrage the paraphilia in which sexual erotic arousal and facilitation an attainment of orgasm are responsive to an contingent on being with a partner known to have committed an outrage of crime such as rape murder or armed robbery or serial killers it is also known as clyde and bonny syndrome wo bandhan jo commit kiya hota hai koi aisa vakya pesh kiya hota hai usse baatein karke uske mil ke उसको पार्टनर नोन टू हैव कमिटेड एन आउटरेज आर क्राइम नेक्स्ट लाइफ सर फोबेकोफिलिया स्पेशलाइज फॉर्म ऑफ जोफिलिया इन विच सेक्सुअलिटिक राउजल अचीव थ्रू स्मॉल क्रिएचर सच एस आंट स्नेल्स फ्रॉग्स आर क्रिपिंग इन सेक्ट टचिंग द जेनेटेलिया पेरी आर प्रेस सो अनफॉर्चुनेट सो अनफॉर्चुनेट just to see how the mind can go sick in how these people want to attain sexual gratification that's right sir gerontophilia sexual desire for an aged partner okay so so a person of maybe 20 years want to have sexual gratification by by uh, doing the sexual activity with a 70 years old lady 60 years old lady maybe vice versa telephone scatologia obscene telephone callers are usually males who call known or unknown females to carry out sexually provocative conversation oh. next slide sir very very sad now kaji kri mat kri matis tophilia janab gaining a sexual pleasure from being charged for or forced to pay for sexual services even to the point of being robbed by the sexual partner just think look at it just think of the psyche gaining a sexual pleasure from being charged for or forced to pay for sexual services even to the point of being robbed by the sexual partner oh my god next slide sir so stigmatophilia during holds the body piercing and the veining of rings to the skin prince albert ring inserted to the urethra of the penis around the gland though it makes sexual intercourse impossible but is said to intensify the sensation during ejaculation induced by masturbation next slide sir so so we end up these sexual organs and now move to another topic which is impotent sterility and abortion and this is very very important okay because impotence and sterility there are many many medical issues which are, which arises if the person is impotent and if the person is sterilized and ultimately going to the nullity of the marriage and of course abortion has its complications and your different types of abortion which is allowed which is not allowed so please next slide sir In sexual act normally males are the active partners while females are relatively passive 
Keeping this in view, impotence is a term generally applied to the incapacity of a male partner to perform sexual intercourse. Okay, so male is the active partner, female is a passive partner. So impotence is a term which is designated primarily to the male. Since he is an active partner, so if he is not able to perform the sexual intercourse, he is called impotent. In Hello. If females, the word impotence is not instead frigidity is used. So, if a female is impotent, you will not call her impotent. The term which is used for female is frigidity. Next slide, sir. Impotence can be defined as persistent inability to develop or maintain a penile erection sufficient to conclude coitus to orgasm and ejaculation. So please, there are two terms which has to be understood. Persistent inability to develop. If a person is not able to perform sexual intercourse with the wife once or twice, he will not be considered impotent. So he has to be persistently enabled. It can be temporary or it can be permanent. Next slide, sir. Causes, age, malformation, local and acquired, functional or psychological causes, the very, very important, very, very important. The most common cause of temporary impotence. So, the causes are age malformation. Look at it. Next slide, sir. Age. Importance is usually observed at extremes of ages. As many things are common, extremes of age. So, beta, bacho me or old age me. Next slide, sir. Malformation, local and acquired, absence of male genital organs, client filter syndrome, cryptoarthritism, phimosis, epispedius. Partial or total amputation of penis, pre-pubertal castration, inflammatory hydrosteel, cast from the penis, spinal injuries, very, very common cause of impotence in chronic. This is this activities autonomic neuropathies TB getting me better from this they lead to which is next Next slide, sir. 